I, is it so hard to lose weight or keep my weight stable and healthy as I age? I'm going to go into the underlying biochemistry of why that is and just some simple things that you can do about it. Before we do, please smash that like button. Really helps the search algorithm. Love to see your comments down below as well. All right. Who's had an issue where you've had a harder time losing weight, maintaining weight? and healthy body composition as you age. Who, who's been there, right? Lots of patients. I've been there myself. A uh, couple things. We'll go into some of the biochemistry. First things first is we set in habits in our teens and early 20s, maybe even early 30s. We set in habits that, let's say, provide us certain results in our teen years, 20s, and maybe even early 30s that we're able to accomplish healthy weight, healthy body composition in spite of. Right, We have healthy things going in our favor. We have higher growth hormone levels. We have higher testosterone. We have higher healthier female hormone balance, maybe healthier progesterone to estrogen. We have better HGH. We have better thyroid. We have better insulin sensitivity. We can get away with more junky bad habits. And as we age, the chickens come home to roost, so to speak, where those bad habits, as the hormones become a little bit less optimal in a lot of those areas, those bad habits start to show through the lack of efficiency in supporting healthy metabolism it starts to show through. That's the first thing. So the first thing really just comes down to when your hormones are great, you can break all the rules. When your hormones aren't, then the habits that you have that aren't effective start to show through. So first thing out of the gate, let's kind of look at it. So first thing is we have our thyroid glands. Our thyroid help control body temperature, metabolism, right? The more heat you generate, the more energy you generate, the more you can deal with the extra glucose, the extra calories on board as well. So that's, that's a real thing. And so as our metabolism drops, that's a real thing too, as we age. I mean, this is why you see all the seniors where they want to move as they get older. They want to move to Florida. They want to move to the Southern states, right? Some belt states. Why? Because metabolically they're dropping. They get more cold in the winter. Obviously joint issues too, and maybe more inflammation in their joints and it feels better with more heat, but they have less, they have lower body temps. That's a, that's a real situation. Let me go into a couple of the mechanisms here. I'll break it all down for you guys. Have it make sense. All right. So first things here. Pull this article here. All right, so this is looking at hypothyroidism right here as you age. So you have age group and you're looking at more hypothyroidism as you age. So lower thyroid function as you age. That's a real deal right there. Also, next one, let's look at this one here. Lower growth hormone. So you're looking at young females here. Look at these higher levels of growth hormone. Young males as well. Older females, look at the level, look at the drop, right? We're hitting, you know, 50 or so at a young female. 30 or so in the males, and then we're cutting in half to even a third to a quarter. What's interesting is that the women have higher growth hormone than the men in this study. That's fascinating. I'd have to read more into that. 